what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 4 here bring you guys a very surprising exciting match uh this time you know we're in the playoffs by the way and we need to win two games in order for us to make it to the super bowl which is this one and the next one and um by the way the lineup that i'm currently showing you guys right now i haven't changed anything so that's it about my lineup uh moving on to my opponent's lineup this guy had legends Elites, captains, editions of cards. He had Peyton Manning, Adrian Peterson. How do you even unlock Adrian Peterson? I don't even know. Um, he had Luke Kuechly, so that means he completed the both styles of, of every single you know solo challenge there in the solo challenges. And he also had uh, Mike Ditka. He had two legendary offensive linemen. He had Deshaun Jackson. He had Joe Hayden. He had, uh, who else did he have on defense? He had uh, William Perry. I believe he was a legend version, though. He's not the 85 overall. Um, he, did I already mention Luke Kuechly? Pretty much, yeah, I did. So, I mean, this guy had several legends, a bunch of elites. And I was like, holy shit. I'm facing a juggernaut. How am I supposed to win this game with a bunch of golden cards? So, I was like, god damn. Just wish for the best. Do your thing. Do not panic. And you'll see skills counts over the eliteness of a card and damn you know it, it really paid off just watch the game I'm not even gonna freaking spoil it just watch the game so in the beginning this guy started to run with Adrian Peterson he was uh, trying to you know really set the tone here because he thought you know oh I'm just gonna run it because Adrian Peterson is like 99 overall or something and um, nope I actually rejected Adrian Peterson look at this look at this Gerard Mayo and Dante Whitner with the clutch tackles fourth and one I stopped him a miracle freaking stop I was like damn it's time to shine no interceptions no mistakes let's do this you know so Jermichael Finley opened down the middle like always uh, I like those kinds of routes with this guy because it gives me like around 30 to 40 yards um, here's a little bit of, of a play action that I usually do uh, Decker this time was open a miracle freaking touchdown because god damn you know he's Eric Decker he's not that quick six foot three guy and he's not that quick so I score with Eric Decker. Score is currently seven to zero. Peyton Manning with a play action to, to Calvin Johnson. Did I mention that, guys? This guy has Calvin Johnson and Peyton Manning on the same team. All you have to do is just lob it to Calvin Johnson, and he'll catch anything since since uh, he's six foot five, pretty much. So there he goes again with Peyton Manning. Open to Sean Jackson, I believe. Is that even the Sean Jackson? That's what I don't get. I believe it did say Jackson in the back jersey. So. There he goes again with Peyton Manning. Oh, lucky bastard. I can't believe that, that part was open. So none of my defensive linemen was going inside. No sacks, no anything going on. An unbelievable touchdown right here over Brandon Browner, who's six foot four. So I was like, okay, so now what's the point to having a tall ass corner if this guy can't even stop Calvin Johnson? Um, you know, I've started questioning my defense here, you know. I can't stop Calvin Johnson. And then he started to run the, the ball down the middle, and I was like, oh, god damn, this guy's just going to run down the clock. That's all he has to do now, just run the clock into the fourth quarter and leave the ball to me, and maybe the score will be 14-7 or something. And nope, he overthrew freaking Calvin Johnson on the end zone. I'm surprised. All he had to do is just lob it, not bullet pass it or something. I don't even know how that works, but damn. And this one is a big-ass damn. How the hell do you miss a 30-yard field goal? How? So now he gives me the ball back, a chance to win the game, and I was like, you know, slowly advancing down the field will be the greatest strategy to do at this point because if you were to score real quick, you're going to leave this guy into another drive with Calvin Johnson and Peyton Manning, and he might even do a two point conversion, which will lead the game into 16 to 14. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to waste his time and maybe go for a field goal, and that's it. And that's all I did, you know. Luckily there, Jamaica Finney was open again, giving me 30 to 40 yards. And then all I did was just run the ball, you know, make him waste his timeouts. Uh, one more timeout to go. A little bit of a counter here. Doug Martin for the first down. And he has to call that timeout. He has to. So, now I'm just going to kneel the ball. And something else that I didn't notice in the playoffs, the time is actually 30 seconds to snap the ball. I thought it was 40. I'm pretty much sure I was playing with 40 through every single game this season. I understand why the hell is 30. So I was left with 10 seconds on the clock after kicking that field goal and I was like, damn, damn, this guy's just going to lob it up to Calvin Johnson. That's all he's going to do. 
and I had to press everybody back and what the fuck did he just do he threw the game away by double tapping X too many times that's not the ending I was expecting I was expecting more of a badass ending like Calvin Johnson freaking jumping over everybody and catching the ball maybe like five yards away from the touchdown and that would have been the game but a 10 and out with Mike Ditka huh, not the ending I was expecting so I won the game 10 to 7 with a bunch of golden cards I don't have any elites except for Patterson but I never threw it to him um, that's it you know I won the game 10 to 7 which brings up the greatest questions of all time does it matter if you have elite players well at this point I gotta say guys your elite players will not do everything for you you also gotta have some skill seriously this guy is wasting the talents of Calvin Johnson, Peyton Manning, Franco Harris several of these guys I mean I'd rather have those guys in my team if I would have had those guys I would have won several games by a blowout seriously give me your cards if right now guys if you have a team like this and you're not using them and you're losing with them give me those cards please Please give me those cards because you're wasting them. Seriously, look at this. Hula Jones, Calvin Johnson, Gene Upshaw. Damn, man. This, he ought to slap himself, man. I'm going to slap this guy with a brick or something someday because that's embarrassing. I beat you with a bunch of golden cards. So that is it for now, guys. If you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, please subscribe for more. And also leave your opinions about my opponent and about his cards because, goddamn, he has legends and captain editions of players. So I'll see you guys later.